As we reflect upon stressful times from our past, sometimes we may even recall that the situation seemed so dire at that moment, we found ourselves wondering, how am I going to survive this? Not to be curt, but the good news is that we obviously did. And sometimes afterwards, we were even able to say, wow. That really turned out to be a nothing burger. Fortunately, it seems as though the latter is all too common. Why is that? Well, of course, when the drama llama comes to visit, things can seem bleak. Perhaps it's something ingrained in our DNA that allows our minds and bodies to quickly shift into fight or flight. Whatever the reason, how we look back upon these events someday will probably depend upon our reaction today. Will we remember stepping up to the challenges or shrinking from them? Will we recall our reactions with pride or remorse? What did our character deliver? Did we rise to the occasion? We may now find ourselves in just such stressful times. Current economic indicators are screaming out that things are not normal. We are seeing data coming in that hasn't appeared in decades, if ever. Naturally, the economy is reacting to these influences and our business is certainly being affected. Because of this, year over year sales volume may be down and in some places, precipitously. As business managers, we are a very important part of the solution. We are usually at the top of the stack as far as our ability to communicate with our guests. We are here to improve everyone's position economically regarding the vehicle transaction. One of the most important qualities we possess is a sensitivity to our environment and an ability to read a situation. However, we are not infallible and sometimes we misidentify situations. A common example of this is the incoming phone call. Someone may be calling with a concern about their coverage, which has been sparked by an outside factor. Our failure to accurately interpret an opportunity here could be because we are busy processing a deal or perhaps our reaction to the phone call is the result of past experiences. Perhaps this includes the knowledge that our own DMV is selling registration data to companies who pay good money to track purchase and renewal events and related mileages. Some of these companies aggressively target market our guests with official looking postcards that read, warning, your factory coverage may be about to expire. Resultantly, we may choose to quickly dismiss our guest concerns by stating, you can throw that postcard away. Those folks are just trying to scare you. Something else to consider is that because of current market forces, Forces now, as much as ever, dealers are looking for additional revenue streams. While walking away from opportunities has never been in vogue, it may currently be untenable to miss any opportunities to take care of a guest. Solutions, therefore, are being tapped like never before to ensure the organization is not missing these opportunities. For example, if in the business office, our guests failed to take advantage of the shelter our products provide, Another attempt to secure the transaction may be afoot. An outside agency may have been engaged to reach out to our guests to ensure they are given a second chance. Once our guests are contacted by these folks, we should not be surprised that our guests are now reaching out to us to revisit the matter after the issue has been brought back up post-delivery by these outside influencers. When we get a second shot to review these opportunities, let's give our guests a better than even chance to take advantage of that which we offer. After all, it is with us they shared a lot. Trust was built and rapport was established, regardless of the reason for the call. When our guests do reach out to us, let's take a quick minute or two to look up of what our guests took advantage and what coverage they have intact. Otherwise, it may be with much chagrin that we fail to allow the question to be fully asked and considered before leaping to a response. We don't have to resolve the matter over the phone right then and there either. We are, however, well served by investigating the matter further. If a need does exist, at a minimum, we might consider setting an appointment for our guests to investigate a solution with us in person at a near-term future date. When we pause for a moment to contemplate the workings of our dealership, it is not hard to understand 
the complexity of the machine. We have dozens and sometimes even hundreds of colleagues, individuals earning a living working in our stores. Oftentimes then, there are also the families of these teammates who depend on their efforts as well. Let's not forget the folks who build the vehicles and parts we sell and everyone in our respective communities. We all have an economic impact living our daily lives. The influence is vast. These people all rely on us as do we them. No doubt about it. Scores of people are impacted for better or worse by our efforts. Let's do what we can to ensure we are able to look back upon this moment in history and remember it as a nothing burger. Think about it. Good luck and good selling.